What up, everyone? So we've got another brand new box this month, one that we've never seen before on this channel or pretty much everywhere else, because this showed up just a few days ago. And it's the new box by Loot Crate, the Loot Anime Crate. So an anime-themed box that's going to be every single month. So we've seen plenty of anime boxes on this channel before. I've done quite a few of them. But none of them really stuck around, and um, I, I was excited to hear that Loot Crate was doing it because they, they really do a good job on their boxes. They do an excellent job, but this one was a little more expensive, and we'll kind of see um, if this one's any good or not. So, something I've noticed about anime boxes in general, unlike like Horror Block or Arcade Block, um, those kinds of boxes usually stick to the classics, the ones that everyone knows, so it appeals to a broad audience. Anime boxes, however, usually don't do that. You, they usually don't stick to the classics. They do a lot more of the current series. And that's usually why I don't keep them around because I love anime, but I'm just not super up to date with it. I grew up with a lot of the classics, so like 90s anime was my thing. Like Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like things that were here in America, that were here in the 90s, that were anime. Those are the ones I know and love. So I'm sure the current ones are super awesome series, but I just haven't had a chance to check most of them out. So before I even open it, just a quick heads up, there may be a lot of franchises that I don't recognize, but we'll see if that's the case, and that may be a deciding factor in whether or not it stays. So um, there's been some confusion about this box, what month it's been a part of. Most people think it's the December box because um, when boxes ship is usually the month that it's included in, if that makes sense. So it doesn't really matter when boxes arrive because I order so many boxes from the UK and Canada. So they ship in November, let's say, but don't arrive here till halfway through December. This box, however, did not ship till December. So I thought it was December's box, but it was confirmed by Loot Crate that it is, in fact, November's box. So I thought it was the first box of December, but in fact, it's the last box of November, which works out good because... Now there's a little break in between November and December. So um, they don't say the month of this box anyway. They just name them one and two and so on and so forth. I think they call them episodes or something. But anyway, we're talking way too much. Let's just get into this box and see what we got. So first we got a shirt. It's a pretty big box and it's kind of heavy, so I'm excited. All right, so this is, oh wow, this is pretty cool. This is obviously from Naruto. This is one I do recognize. Now Naruto is a show that, again, I haven't had a lot of time to check out. Heard it's a really great show, but haven't checked it out personally, but have been really meaning to. I genuinely want to. And this is one of the few shirts that is actually printed on both sides. And this one is actually branded. So it has the brand on the little printed on tag right there. The t-shirt brand is ripped, uh, was it Ripple Junction, which is decent, but you know, it's actually branded on there. And it's on both sides. That's really cool. That's something we don't usually see in monthly subscription shirts because most of the monthly subscription shirts we see are ones that are printed um, through third-party companies. So whoever the box is, they pay a third-party company to print on the t-shirt, or sometimes they do it in-house. So it's hard to do double-sided because it'll cost twice as much to do that, and it's twice as much labor. So the fact that we see a double-sided shirt design is really cool. Like, that's really, really cool. Even though I'm, I'm not super familiar with it, I'm familiar enough with the show to recognize that this is from Naruto. So... And I really like the symbols on it, and I think that's so cool it's double-sided. Um, the fit on it seems decent. It doesn't seem like it's fitted at all, which, you know, is okay. Depends on your body type. But that is a really cool design shirt. I genuinely like that. I'm going to give that one an 8.5. I genuinely like that. 8.5. All right, let's see what's next. I see what was so heavy. And we got a glass mug. So this is from Attack on Titan. It's a very notable symbol. Again, another show I haven't checked out. Looks really cool. They just had a movie come out, and I think the second one is coming out here in America soon. I heard they were god-awful, but whatever. So let's take a look at this. So yeah, just like it shows on the front, it's a glass mug. It's got a green tint to it. It's got the Attack on Titan symbol right there on the front. And then it says Attack on Titan on the back. So that's cool. Got a glass mug. That works out just fine for me. Put this little guy back in there. All right, so that's obviously what's making the box so heavy. All righty. 
let's see what else we got. So, okay, one we probably could have assumed was going to be in there, an anime mystery mini. So I was pretty bummed out by this series. Um, first of all, the series they, they said they were going to originally include, they said they were going to have the Dragon Ball figures in there, and they said there was a couple other series that were supposed to be in here, but franchises that didn't end up being part of the series, which I was bummed out about. And also, the style and how they did them. So, everyone knows there's two types of mystery minis. There's the tall kind, um, I'm scaling wrong, but the ones that are taller and slender, that they did the sci-fi, the horror, the walking dead, that have the matte finish to it. That style is the first one. And then there's the second style, that they do like the Marvel and DC, where they're shorter figures with big heads. And that's how they did these ones. And I'm not a fan of those. Like, they just don't look as good. The faces aren't really sculpted, it's just like screen printed eyes and mouth on there and there's just less detail in there and the paint job isn't as good so I wish they would stick to just one style of mystery mini and make this a, a different, call this something else but they did it in that style, the shorter big head ones and I just wasn't pleased about that. I wish they had done it in the first style like they did with the sci-fi and the horror ones. Like I wish they had done it that way. And some of the franchises they picked um, weren't my favorite but let's open this up and see what we got. So, I didn't recognize a lot of the characters from this series, but we'll see what we got. And I think they're all common. Yeah, they're all common. So you have the likelihood of getting pretty much any of them. There's no rare ones, so they're all common. So let's see who we got. <clears throat> Alrighty, I got a character that I don't know. So, someone that knows anime better than I do can tell me who this character is and what they're from. I don't recognize them right offhand, but it smells nice. But yeah, so the quality on these is decent, but I'm just not a fan of this style of Mystery Minis versus the other one. But you know, that's okay. But I'm hoping that means that the franchises that weren't included in this series are hopefully going to be in either Series 2 or going to have their own Mystery Mini series, because that would be awesome, because they haven't done any Dragon Ball ones, but... I'm thinking that Dragon Ball Z may get their own series of mystery minis because they just had the movie that came out, they have the brand new show that's currently running, <coughs> I'm not sure how well it's doing or not, but I think it's popular enough to where it might get its own uh, series, but we'll see. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, moving on. We got some Band-Aids. Attack on Titan Band-Aids. So, useful, practical, I guess. Uh, everyone can use some band-aids. And here's the designs on the back. Comes in a nice little tin. Sure, practical use. That'll do. Let's see what else we got here. Got some manga. And this is the Seven Deadly Sins. I've heard of this before. Haven't checked it out. But yeah, nice little book in there. So, even though I don't recognize it, I can definitely check it out now. Because now I have the book. So yeah, just black and white comic style. That works. That's cool. Then, the last item looks like a poster. So let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, so this is the picture they were showing uh, when you order the crate. This is quite large. And then it shows all the items on the back. That's kind of cool. So this is actually, as a, as if I can get the glare off of it, this is actually a really cool picture. I, I saw this when they were advertising for it. The art style of it is very well done. Like, I really like the art style of this poster. Kind of wish they hadn't folded it, because that kind of kills it a little bit, but it still looks really cool. And then on the back of it, it's just the everything that was in the box, so that's cool. That works out quite nicely. So, I'm not a fan of when they put posters, especially when they fold them, because now there's creases all over the poster. But I really like the art style of it. And I'm trying to see where that's from. Da, 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 da. Doesn't say. But anyway, so yeah. The last item we got in the box was just a little um, keychain, which they said all people subscribing to the first crate would get. It basically just says, you can see like loot crate kind of engraved on there. And then it's got some, what looks like Japanese characters on the back. So yeah, just a fun little keychain for people that got the first crate. So that's all the items in the box. Let's take a short break, and then we'll come back, give these items some value, and then see what we think about this crate. Give it a final rating, and then see if it's going to stick around or not. So, talk to you soon. Alright, we are back. Let's go back to this box, give it some value, and talk about a rating. So the shirt, like I said, 8.5 out of 10, and I found out this is actually an exclusive shirt, so exclusive to this box. 
which makes it even better. That's really cool because it's a really nice shirt. And it's actually uh, licensed and branded. It's not some weird crossover, which is rare to see in boxes these days. So I think 8.5 out of 10 is well deserved. Good job on the shirt. But it'll still get the standard $12 to $15 value as shirts do. Then the mug. So mugs of this style, of this size, with printing on it, would run like around $12 to $15. Um, this also is an exclusive mug, but you know, there's nothing crazy special about it. Even though it's exclusive, I'm sure you could find mugs very similar to this that aren't exclusive for around $12 to $15. So if someone really wanted this mug specifically, you might be able to fetch a few more dollars for it, but still around $12 to $15 on the mug. But it's still cool that it's exclusive nonetheless. Then... Our book, our manga book. This is Loot Crate exclusive as well. Um, I don't know if it's just the cover or it's the entire book. can't remember if it's said in there. <laughs> yeah, it's just an exclusive cover. So just like comics do, just an exclusive cover. But either way, um, the price is actually printed on there. So if you were to buy this in stores, it would be $10.99. I'm sure you could find this much cheaper online because the thing about books, the same as it's always been, um, people could easily read it, sell it as new, and sell it for dirt cheap. But for books, I always give it the price that's printed on there, which is technically $10.99, so giving it the full value of $11. Then, our mystery minifigure. No argument here, these are 6 bucks. Nothing rare about them, that's how much they cost. Um, our little phone charm uh, for all the founders that, that got the first box. It is exclusive, but it's just a very thin piece of metal with a slight engraving on it, so... This like two or three bucks for a small phone charm. <clears throat> then, our band-aids. It says these are exclusive as well, but I don't think anyone's ever seen exclusive band-aids before. But again, I'm sure you could find something similar to it for around six to eight dollars. They uh, uh, band-aids and things like that have all kinds of licenses, so you can find them all over the place. So around six to eight, I think, would be fair on that. Then the last thing is our poster, which actually they don't even count as an item in there, which is kind of good because once it comes all bent up like this, like it really has no value. Um, but you know, I'll give it a dollar or two because it does have really nice artwork on there. And I, I don't know what it's from actually, so if someone can help me out and tell me what that's from because I actually really like the artwork on this. Again, wish it hadn't been folded up, but whatever. Like it, it, it's, you know, it's just filler, so not that big a deal. So that was all the items in the box. So that brings our value on the low end of 50 and on the high end of 60. So this box is actually pretty expensive, which is surprising for the Loot Crate Company. Usually they're on the cheaper end of things. So this box, after all is said and done, for me at least, it costs about $32.95, I think. I, I think I have to pay state taxes on that, so it might be a little bit different for other people, but after shipping and everything, it's $32.95. But I'm pretty sure Loot Crate is based out of California. I'm pretty sure they're in LA, so the shipping is going to be as cheap for me as it can be. So I think it's going to cost similar to that for most people. So even at a $30 value, um, minus the taxes and stuff, you still didn't quite get double your value, which is odd for Loot Crate. <clears throat> Loot Crate usually gives not only double, they quite often triple the value. Like, they're pretty good about giving tremendous value and getting exclusive items. They pretty much call all their items exclusive, by the way. But, you know, um, they did a pretty good job, but not quite double. So that's why I was kind of skeptical when they had the higher price because you, you would think when companies charge more, they're going to give more value. But that's, like, very rarely ever the case. Most of the times when boxes charge a little bit more, they don't really deliver more. They just, they just charge more. And this seems to be the case of this box. They charge much more than the Loot Crate, but it gives really not much more value than Loot Crate gave. So it's kind of odd that they charge that much. So I think it's a little bit pricey. And something else that's not kind of sucks about this, I've had a lot of problems with this company because of their referral program. They have technically a good referral program because for every customer you refer, you get a $7 credit towards your next box. And Loot Crate only costs 20 so it only costs like two or three um, referrals to get a free box. I've been doing this for officially a year. It's been one year since I started the channel and I have been referring people that entire year. Not till last month did I finally get credits towards my account. They finally like manually credited them in there and I have like 300 credits so I get, so I don't have to pay for like Loot Crate for quite a while even though I have for the past year even though I shouldn't have been doing it. So had a big ordeal with that. And then the same thing happened with this box. I had so many credits in there in my account that I've been just going to waste because they kept charging me. So I thought, why not try out the anime one? Because technically, it'd be free for me. It was not. So 
There is no referral program for the Loot Crate anime or the pet um, crate. So the newer crates that they're coming out with, the people need to know there is no referral program. So there's no point in referring anyone because you will not get credits towards those boxes. You still get a, a link in your account, but that only goes towards the regular Loot Crate. That's it. No add-ons, none of the bonus stuff that you can add on to Loot Crate, no anime, no pets, no specialty boxes, only for that. Which is very disappointing. Um, not the not just because it's only for one thing, but because they don't really say that. They should really should have told me that beforehand. Because I would have gotten one, but I would have continued with the subscription if I knew that's how it worked. And then I have to waste my time and go through customer service and talk to them about that. It seems like if you get credits towards your account, you should be able to use those credits on whatever you want. If you're referring people to that company, it doesn't shouldn't matter what you want to spend it on. You should get those credits as you please. So. They technically have a good referral program, but it, it just doesn't really work out well. So I haven't had good experience with that. So I just want to let people know that don't waste time referring on these boxes because it's, it's pointless. But anyway, that being said, I'm still going to give this box a 7 out of 10 because pretty much everything in here was exclusive, which is very nice. And they really did a nice job on the shirt. They really went all out on it, and I'm very impressed by it. But other than that, you know, I'm not like super blown away by anything. The shirt was really amazing, but the other stuff, even though it was exclusive, it's still very common looking things. Loot Crate uses the word exclusive way too much. Like everything they do is somehow exclusive because they change one little thing. So most of the things in most of their boxes they say are exclusive. Even they technically are, but they're just not that great of exclusive. So the things in here were, um, I'm sure you could find very similar items to these. For, for a much cheaper price, even though they're technically exclusive to the block. But anyway, um, I, I did like all the items in here, and I recognize all the franchises, which I'm kind of surprised by, so hopefully they keep up with that. And I'd hope to see some, like, Dragon Ball stuff, or Pokemon, or even Yu-Gi-Oh!, or something like that. I hope to see some of the franchises that I really like, because I'd love to see exclusive stuff from this company. So, yeah, some Dragon Ball stuff. So um, I'm going to keep them around for a little while, but I don't think I'm going to keep them around too much longer because they don't have a great referral program and because this ends up being kind of an expensive box for $33 and you're not quite getting double what you paid for. And so, I, I, it's so, I'm, so I'm okay. I, I liked it, but I'm not crazy about it. I'm not super excited for this box to keep coming around, but you know, I'll keep it around for a little while to get a better feel of it. But if anyone is really into anime, I think this would be one of your better bets because you're going to get exclusive stuff. So... Try it out um, and see what you guys think of it. So, but, but anyway, let me know what you guys thought about the box, those anime fans out there, whether you loved it or not. And we'll see what next month's box has. So I've already paid for it, so it's obviously coming. But we'll see if I keep this around because it is a little bit pricey for what it is. But anyway, this has been the first Loot Anime box. Uh, shirt 8.5 out of 10. Box 7 out of 10. Let me know what you guys thought. I'll see you in the monthly review. Take it easy. Peace.